A few days ago, I made a video talking about the best way to make levels for your guild in Sea of Thieves. And I mentioned the two main ways to make levels, but I thought I wanted to make another video showcasing in a deep dive what the easiest way to make levels for your guild is in Sea of Thieves. Because I am self-aware that the majority of Sea of Thieves players aren't diehard players and play this on the weekend or as a secondary backup game. So 24-7 hourglass diving is not something that you want to do or find a value. So instead, we're going to take an easy approach and talk about the easiest way to make levels for a guild in Sea of Thieves. Now, it's a mix of two things, and they are really simple. In essence, you're going to be doing a world event, whether it be a Fort of Fortune, Ash and Winds, whatever, it doesn't matter, or the Fort of the Damned. So if you haven't noticed by now, the video you're watching over this commentary is me just selling loot. Now, this is a real example of what you get for selling a stacked Fort of the Damned. So take that into account while I talk about this and keep an eye out that you can pretty much take this to anything you want. So uh, first job, get an emissary up. If you do have a guild emissary already, that's going to greatly increase your chances. But if you don't, that doesn't matter. As you do need to be level 15 for that guild emissary to turn over. If you don't have it, don't worry about it. But if you do, make sure that's what you vote. From there, you're going to be doing a continuous roll of world events. So whatever spawns, you're going to go for it. Or alternatively, you're just going to do Fort of the Dams. The reason this is so important is because as a whole, doing any sort of voyage is not going to get you anywhere near as much as ramp as a world event does. And a world event is also going to get you almost as much as a Fort of the Dam completion. Again, though, by saying that you do have to sell this loot for the level to go in. Now, while you're going to be doing these world events or Fort of the Dams, it's completely up to you. There's a couple things you're going to be doing passively that will get you guild levels. The first one's very mundane and sounds quite stupid, but it is fishing and collecting animal meat. Cooking that up and selling it to the hunter's cool or a sovereign if you do have the level is going to get you guild rep, believe it or not. Not a whole lot, but if you are doing this passively, a little bit makes a lot in the long run. And secondly, you'll be collecting gems. Red, green, or blue, it doesn't overly matter, but the fish and meat and gems all go hand in hand in a way, and I'm going to explain now. If you get your gems and choose to sell them at the Hunter's Cool, which is where you should, you do get a bunch of guild rep and a slight bit more than you'd get if you sell them at the Sovereigns. So what does that mean? In a very real sense, this is what you're going to be doing to maximize your guild level reputation. You're going to be completing world events, being conscious of the gems. You're going to put all of your loot on the boat, obviously, and then separate the gems in a separate section. While doing that or between those steps, you'll be fishing, collecting meat off of animals, or doing whatever you can to get meat on your boat. And then you're going to be cooking up that meat, getting it ready to sell. While you are on your sails doing the Fort of the Dam or the World event, stop by a sea post and sell the meat you've got and the gems. From there, move on over to your outpost and sell the rest of your loot. And from there, it turns into a rinse and repeat method. And I didn't mention that in the previous video because I didn't realize how important selling meat was. I know they made a point of showing that you can have a chef outfit in the guild, but I guess the point of that was to showcase how profitable it can be for your guild. Now, at a real sense, this video you're watching, as I mentioned, was from selling all of that loot to the fodder. This was a five stacked fort of the dam with meat and gems being assorted in that too. We found ourselves going from level six to level eight in about two and a bit hours. Now, it's worth mentioning while selling in this video, Ghoul and Glory was live, but instead of the three levels we got from that, in a non-Ghoul and Glory, you'd see yourself getting around two levels or two and a quarter levels which is effectively about, give or take, a level an hour. But of course, this is a guild, so this can be stacked. Say if three people are doing this method on three different boats in your guild, that means three levels an hour, and you can see how profitable it can be really quickly. Now, the first thing you may be thinking is that's not as profitable as doing our glass dives, and I agree, it's not. But it is the easiest way to make fast guild XP for a guild. So with that being said, that's pretty much everything you need to know. If you do have any questions, let me know down in the comment section. And if you did like the video, feel free to subscribe to the channel and leave a like to show your support as I will be posting more videos like this in the future if you want to see them. So have a good day, night, evening, afternoon, whatever it is, wherever you are around the world. And I'm going to catch you all in the next one. Goodbye for now.